My name is Kaori Ogino. I am a CG technology supervisor uh, here at ILM. As a child, I was really interested in art. Um, that's you know what I spent most of my time doing, drawing, and um, you know technology. Kind of that interest came a little bit later. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot of technology when I was growing up, actually. <laughs> Well, my first job in the industry was at Rhythm and Hughes, um, and uh, I would say my first impressions were, you know, again, just that it was so much fun. It just seemed like, wow, this is an actual job where people get paid to do this kind of stuff, you know, blowing things up, simulating, you know, hair and creatures, and um, yeah, so my first impression was really just kind of a little bit of disbelief that, you know, you can get paid to do this kind of work that's, that's uh, so enjoyable. Before moving into this position, I was uh, fairly involved in a lot of the technical side of things um, within the pipeline. Um, I you know, was a lead and still am a lead on one of our engineering uh, teams where uh, we're concerned primarily with the handoff of data's be data between disciplines. Um, and so you know, it, it felt like a fairly natural progression for me to move out of the artist side of things and into this uh, technology. Uh, role, you know, I'd also been involved in uh, leading a lot of tech teams. We have this thing called tech teams here at ILM, where um, you know, over the summer, maybe when people are between projects, they can jump on some of the technical development tasks that uh, that you know didn't get done while people were on shows. So uh, yeah, it just felt kind of like a natural extension of what I was already doing. Um, and you know, like again, like I said, you know, I've always been interested in both the artistic side and the technical side. So. I feel like every, you know, alternating phases of my life, I'm either fully on the tech side or on the artist side. And so, you know, it just kind of felt like another hop across the line there. Yeah, I, I, it's kind of, at least it's evident, hopefully to most people, that the diversity or lack thereof is, is quite unfortunate. I, I think, you know, that's changing over time. It, it feels a slow process. Sometimes it's frustratingly slow, but, um, you know, I, I do think that stepping back and looking at the bigger picture, it is changing, you know, and things are getting better. Um, but yeah, I, it would be greater to see more people of color, more, you know, LGBT people, more women, um, and at, at all levels of the organization, not just, you know, at the very top or at the very bottom or, you know, just having a, a more uh, realistic representation of, you know, all the people that surely, you know, could be contributing to this kind of work. You know, I always think of it as, you know, you, people have come before me to make my experience here be as, as good as it has been. Um, you know, I've never felt, you know, uncomfortable or discriminated against in any sort of professional way. And that's thanks to people that I may have never met or will never meet, women who have come before me or gay people who are out before me or whatever it is. Um, so I'm, I'm benefiting from their efforts to make things, you know, more inclusive. So I always think of that and, you know, that's kind of like the pay it forward sort of thing. But, you know, I, I think now being in the position that I'm in, it's my obligation and, and it, you know, certainly doesn't feel like a burden, but it feels like the natural thing to then in turn look behind me and see, you know what, are there younger women who want to be in this industry that are, you know, hesitating for some reason or feeling excluded or having difficulty, like it's my obligation to turn around and help them, you know, and that whether that means mentoring somebody or taking extra time to show them the ropes or, you know, going to events and participating in, um, you know, panels and things to kind of get the word out that, you know, this is a cool job and it's fun and, you know, if there's a woman out there that want to blow stuff up or, you know, simulate blubber on a chubby creature or whatever it is, you know, like come on and, you know, join in. Honestly, if, if, if you do this work, and I guess this applies for any work, really. But if you do the work and you enjoy it and you're having fun, don't let it discourage you that, you know, you don't see everybody around you, you know, the, the level of diversity that you ideally would like to see. You know, don't let it discourage you that you might be the only woman in the room. That's, that's going to happen. Um, but you have to remember, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, life's short. you got to do what you enjoy. You know, don't let other people tell you you don't belong there. You know, I would really say, Stick with it, you know, just uh, just be true to yourself and what your passion is.